Good morning, everybody. Buongiorno. We, buongiorno. We are standing in Minori on the Amalfi Coast. It's very early, it's eight o'clock, and we have some fresh orange juice and some vegan croissants from Sal di Riso, which is just behind us. So every time we come to the coast, uh, we drive, we get a rental, we drive from Lucca to uh, Maravello, which is what we did yesterday and we need to take the car back. So I just thought I'd pick up the camera because there's some gems along the way. So when we return the car, you can only return your car to Salerno. It's the closest to the coast. We are gonna go get an ice cream because I think one of the best ice creams on the coast is in Salerno. Netuno. And then you guys get to see a little bit of Salerno before it's full on Ravello, Amalfi, Positano, Maiori content. So yeah, we're gonna have our croissant eat our breakfast and then get going. We're just having our breakfast before the drive. Just so it's about a 40 minute, 35 minute drive from Minori to Salerno. Oh, look at that dirty bit of chocolate. Oh. I just wanna see what the biggest one and is. And the orange juice is incredible. Obviously that one's mine, the biggest one. Well, what do you reckon? I think that's the biggest one. We there always do this, Stefania has to have a video. Always. Um, and the so, biggest portion. Sal di Riso do vegan croissants. And this, my friends, is their vegan croissant. And it's absolutely delicious. Mm. And then you would have seen, you mm. get to choose your filling. So they've got like pistachio, chocolate, cream. Fondente. They've got loads of flavors, but we always go for the fondente, chocolate, obviously, because we're vegan. And also chocolate croissants are just the best, mm. in my opinion. Is it good? I've had a croissant so long. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Cheers. We've arrived. Mm. We are. This is our tradition. Like every time we take the car back, we stop here, get an orange juice, put our vegan croissant, and then go to Salerno. What more do you want? This is it. We've given the car back and we've grabbed our ice cream. Barne Tuno, it's in Salerno, like you have to try it if you're nearby. They have like five vegan flavors, pistachio, kinder, nocciola, which is chocolate and hazelnuts, and- Vegan home. There was something else, I don't know. But we've got nocciola and kinder, and it's vegan and it's delicious. And the car's gone back and my legs are free to walk the world. <laughs> so we're gonna head back to the coast and then we are going to go to the beach. Everybody. I'm just getting ready for the beach. We had the best night's sleep. It was the deepest sleep and the most quiet, like surrounding wise. It was absolutely fabulous. Um, it's a boiling hot day. It feels like it got cooler and now it's getting hotter again. And we are heading to the beach today. But I wanted to quickly unbox a few bits with you because I have things that I use to go to the beach with that I want to show you. And also what I take to the beach because I think you guys will find that quite interesting. So I do a little pack with me to the beach. And yeah, I have my Nonna Elvira watching me. We've got pictures of her here. And um, she's just watching me. I know if she was still here, she'd think I was absolutely nuts. 
she used to say, what, are you on the telly? And I'd be like, yeah, on, on, on YouTube, so everyone can see. I was like, well, yeah, that's the point, Nonna. You're bloody mad, she used to say. So, um, so I've got her watching here. She was about, I think she was just about my age there. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh. So Nonna's watching me talk to you guys, which is a first. Oh, you've gone all blurry. Come back. So as I was saying, Nola Elvira is watching me for the first time talk to you guys because I haven't done it here before. So the first thing I want to show you guys, like I said, I'm getting ready to go to the beach. And one thing about the Amalfi Coast, especially if you come here often and like myself and Stefania, we practically live here for parts of the year, um, getting about the best way is by foot and it's our preference because we like the exercise. Every time we get stronger, we get fitter. And it's just the nicest way to travel. Like the views, the people you meet, the fruit you collect, like it's just, ugh, there's no words, it's incredible. But over the 30 years, you can imagine, I've built up some experience of the sort of go-tos and not to-dos of what to wear, when you go down the mountain. Now, I remember in the early years, we used to have like shoulder bags and wear those. Cause I don't know, that's just sort of the go-to beach bag, isn't it? And of course, if you're walking down a mountain of like maybe 800 to a thousand steps, it gets very, very uncomfortable. It's also very heavy and you have to switch shoulders and it's just not very, very comfortable. So one thing I've learned is a rucksack is a absolute must here. And I got one a few years back and it's just getting quite old and a bit tatty. It's also a tiny bit too small and it's black and I wanted something a bit lighter and a little bit bigger so that I could fit more in. So I found this one from a brand called Stackers. I don't know if you guys have heard of it before, but I came across it and oh my goodness, what a fantastic brand. So this brand basically creates products to organize your life. And the three products I'm gonna show you now you'll understand. So the first thing of course is the rucksack because I need to pack and actually get to the beach and use it. And this is what it looks like. So I got it in the beige. I think it comes in green and black or white. I don't know, I'll link it below. Um, but I got it in the beige because it's a summer color and it goes with a lot of my wardrobe. It's in a beautiful sustainable leather. Now one thing I've learned about wearing accessories whilst sweating walking down a mountain is if it's cheaply made the color will transfer onto your clothes and ruin them so this is what's happened with my last rucksack it's also happened in the past with just any rucksack or bag that i used to buy i wasn't consciously shopping i was just buying and the color would transfer when i sweat so it usually happens when it gets very very hot it doesn't happen every time but those weeks where it's like boiling and you're dripping like i'm literally dripping when i get to amalfi they're the days that I end up ruining my clothes and losing them. So we have this beautiful sustainable leather that obviously isn't gonna transfer. There's a zip at the back here, obviously adjustable straps, and the magic is inside. Well, obviously outside is beautiful, but look, look at all the compartments inside. So you've got a space for everything. You've also got a purse attached. You don't have to take an extra purse, it's attached, you won't lose it. And they also put in, which I thought was a really lovely touch, a mirror, a mirror with a case. Cause you always need a mirror, especially when you're out and about, going to the beach, out all day, climbing mountains. Gotta see what we look like. It's got a clip here, a handle if you wanna hold it like that. Everything has been thought out. So I'm gonna pack this now with you so you guys can see what I take to the beach. So the first thing I'm packing is a water bottle. On the Amalfi Coast, we have the absolute pleasure of fresh running water everywhere. And there's fountains all the way down the mountain. So my first stop is um, just as I hit Ravello from where I am, because I'm right at the top of Ravello. And there's a fountain there, and then we'll fill up there, then we'll fill it up in Amalfi. So it's currently empty. So I start the journey off light, and then I'll fill it up. And you would have seen here is can you see there, it's the bottle compartment. So you literally can slip this in and it's upright so there'll be no leakage in case, I know my bottle leaks, I need to get a new bottle, but that's not gonna leak as long as the bag is upright. 
and it's not gonna move, it's not gonna damage anything else in the bag. So my water bottle is in, safe. Then, obviously a beach towel. Now this is my one from Lux Linen. I've had this towel for years. I can't believe how good it looks. It looks as good as the day I got it. It's sustainable linen, it's a pesh metal. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. And like I said, it's sustainable and it's just in a beautiful linen color. Obviously, I say this all the time. The materials that you're choosing to put against your skin, it's very, very important not to be putting plastic. And of course, linen has the highest frequency, it's healing. So imagine that on top of the hot stones, you have a healing linen material just penetrating through you. I mean, no wonder I leave the beach feeling incredible. So I'm gonna roll this up, because that's the best way for space saving, and I'm gonna pop that right at the bottom, like that. So that's in. Now, very important, reading material. I have to have a book when I'm on the beach, or just generally on holiday, I love reading, because I think in London, I just don't get enough time to do it. I'm always distracted, so I read a ton of books on holiday. So I picked up The Italian Girl by Lucinda Riley, and I thought it was very fitting since I'm in Italy. I didn't read the description or anything, because I just didn't, I just saw the cover and I loved it and thought that'd be perfect. And it's actually set in Naples, so how perfect. I've only read the first chapter and I'm already hooked and it's taken me straight back to my childhood. Like, it's so nostalgic. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know what I think of that when I finish it. So I'll pop this in as well. And I'm actually gonna put it in a compartment in here so that it doesn't touch anything that has any moisture and that way it can't be damaged. So there, the book is in that compartment. It's standing upright as well. Still loads of room. Next we have my lunch. So of course we're here for so long. Eating out every day is not a good idea. And of course the Amalfi Coast is very, very expensive. And also myself and Stefania are not huge fans of eating out in general. Like once in a while, but not every day because our stomachs just get destroyed and it's not healthy, it's just not healthy. The ingredients, like the oils, are always cheapened out and we just don't know what's being put into the food entirely. So yeah, a nice salad in glass Tupperware and today I've got an avocado salad. So I'll pop that in as well. It's incredible how much I can fit in here. Like my last rucksack, I wouldn't have got half of this in. We've also got an apple as a snack because I'll end up grabbing pizza or an ice cream or something like that that I don't want to have, so an apple. We also have skincare and I have SPF and coconut oil. You guys already know that I'm a huge fan of green people. This is their facial sun cream, scent free, SPF 30, and I already have it applied. I've got it on my face and I also always put it here because it's um, a place on my body that the sun hits first and most. And also this skin here is very, very, very delicate and it can wrinkle very easily. So it's something I have to take care of and I've already been warned by my facialist that I need to start taking care of this area. So SPF is on and then I also have coconut oil and I put it in this little bottle because just taking these big glass jars down to the beach is not a good idea. I don't know how many times I've spilt it everywhere. So we've got these like little, it is plastic, but these little travel pots and it's got a lid as well that you can shut so that there's no leakage. But coconut oil is the only oil I use. It has a natural SPF of five. It moisturizes your skin, it nourishes it. There's no chemicals in it. And my skin afterwards just feels absolutely incredible. It doesn't get dry. And it also gives a really beautiful deep brown color. So I like to use a little bit of coconut here and there, especially on my legs and my bottom because they're the hardest places to tan. I don't know if you guys have that, but different parts of your body tan differently. So I very lucky, it all just tans in one, but I don't know, maybe it's just me. And lastly for my lips, I've got this one from Paw Paw. It's their papaya lips, it's amazing. Um, but I like to pop this on for hydration and to protect. I only put this on after the beach or just before, because I've learned that anything I put on my lips other than SPF, I end up burning my lips. I don't know if it's because, well, it is because of the oils and things. So you have to find things that aren't oily and just creams. This is slightly oily. Yeah, it's, it's definitely an oily product. Can 
can you see? So it's great for after the beach. Um, it smells amazing. You know what it reminds me of? It's like a natural version of Hawaiian tropics. This is obviously not for tanning, it's for your lips, but that's the smell it reminds me of. Um, but this is great after the beach when your lips have been, you know, in this salty sea and dried up a little bit. This is the perfect thing to put on afterwards. So that as well. And that's pretty much it other than my phone, keys and money. That is everything. So I'll show you the bag and I'm ready to go. I can't close it because I've just thrown it in with you guys. So I'll pop it in properly <laughs> when I'm done. But literally, I, I travel like this every day. It does all fit. It's so good. Like it's the perfect rucksack. I absolutely love it. And like I said, if you do come here and you want to walk and you want to explore, you need a rucksack. You absolutely need a rucksack. You need a water bottle. You need snacks. I remember once we went on a walk up the mountain with one of our friends and um, it ended up being a five and a half hour walk vertically. And Stefania and I were so hungry. Like, I think we found some goji berries at the bottom of like our purse because we had these like tiny little purses and we were like eating them really slowly. But oh my goodness, like it was so unexpected and I wish I had my bag full of snacks and water. Um, but these are the lessons that I've learned from that I can now give to you and you don't have to worry about it. Although I doubt that you'll go for a five hour walk here unless you come in the winter and that's your thing. There are so many incredible walks here. Like it's not just a summer spot. In the autumn, winter, people come here walking and we, we all go up in the mountain. I mean, it's just, Incredible, they have barbecues, there's views. Oh my goodness, people camp out there as well. It's just, it's literally like another world. But anyway, that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Then the same company, Stackers. So obviously I'm traveling a lot. With my jewelry, I just feel like I'm always worrying about it. I didn't have anything to carry in basically. And with Stackers, since they do all these products for being organized, I saw that they had a sort of like jewelry, what's it called, a jewelry, it's a jewellery roll, no I don't think it's the roll, but it's a jewellery like travel jewellery bag basically. They come in a load of colours, I picked up the one in white and if I show you inside, how clever, so your necklaces go here and then you pop the bottom of your necklace in there and wrap it around here and clip it so it doesn't move, then you've got this pouch in the middle here for like any extras I've got a few bits of jewellery that I still need to organise. Then you've got this bit for your earrings. Can you see? You put your earrings through and then pop the butterfly on the other end and they'll all sort of sit along there. These, I think, are for bracelets. I don't know, I need to look. But there's another bit here and then there's a pouch here that has a string closure. And then you just shut it off like that. How clever is that? Nothing gets damaged, it's all safe absolutely love that I had to show you guys so that's from the same brand stackers and then I also got since I content create I have to deal with a ton of cables and electronics and stuff like that I'm sure a lot of us do because you know, nowadays with technology we've all got computers and cables and chargers and headphones and the list goes on but anyway I was so used to just throwing it in a big bag and then like rummaging through looking for sim cards and things like that it would absolutely drive me mad and i while i was shopping for the rest of the bits i saw this and it's basically like a cable organizer i didn't even know this was a thing until this arrived and um, again they have so many colorways of all of their products so there's something for everyone I got this in the top. I would have liked to get this in the white as well, just to have it matching, but they didn't have it. But it's probably better because this is something that's gonna get used and thrown into like many bags more often, so it's probably better to be a sturdier color. I'll show you the outside. So the zip obviously goes around. You've got a compartment at the back that you can zip open and use. And then inside, I haven't got all my cables in yet. Well, I did and now I've used them all. Can you see? You literally just put all your cables in here. I feel like I should fill it up a little bit more for you. Give me a second. Okay, I filled it up a little bit more for you guys so you can see. So in here I've got like my, my camera battery charger, my hard drive, I've got my cables in here. The SIM cards go along here. There's also my tripod that's just sort of sitting across. But you can literally just close it up and it's all in one place. So much time is saved with this. So much time and I just love organization 
and I just thought that was fantastic. So I had to show you guys. I'll link all the products below for you guys. I need to get a move on because I want to have a full day at the beach. I'll quickly tell you what I'm wearing. I've got a Monday swimwear bikini top on. It's the Cala Roya top in ivory and I have a medium and it's absolutely fabulous. I've learned that I really need underwired bikinis sometimes because they're very heavy but it ties up at the back it's adjustable and then i've got the matching bottoms and then i have a wrap skirt on which is i can't remember where it's from i'll link it below because i can't remember and i don't want to take it off right now i also have a little belly chain on because i got it and i thought it just looked really cute it just that's Dally. If you remember her from last year, she's still meowing about the place. But yeah, I've got a little um, belly chain on as well. I've got my rucksack and I'm ready to go. I'm absolutely melting. But yeah, we're going to have a lovely day at the beach. I'll take you guys along and show you. We're going to go to Castiglione Beach, which is Ravello's beach. It's got about 150 steps, but we just love our steps and it means we can eat a little bit more and have fun when we're here and come home looking very fit and healthy. <laughs> and also, you probably are wondering why I look like I've got a bit of a face of makeup on, but I don't. I filmed a um, reel for a brand I'm working with for Instagram, and this has stayed on from yesterday. So this is basically like a lip stain, and I've put it on my lips and also on my cheeks for like a, like a bit of a faux blush and it's worked so well. So head over to my Instagram to see that reel and how I got this look, but this will literally last the entire day. Like no matter how much sweat, eating, swimming, it stays on for 10 hours. How incredible is that? I'll pop it below as well. I'll pop the lip stain, the colors of romance, I'll pop that below as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, head to my Instagram to see how I got the look. And yeah, I'm ready for the beach. So here is Stefania. Hello. And we're very coordinated today. We're green. both in this beautiful green. And it's almost the same fabric, isn't it? It's like this crepe. What is it? <laughs> crepe, I want Crepe. crepe. Um, we have started the descend down uh, to Amalfi, no, not Amalfi Beach, sorry, Castiglione Beach. And we look all put together now, but you'll see very soon that we are going to be two sweaty betties by the I'm end imagine. of it it is so hot today it's it was 30 what did 30 something degrees 30 when we woke up yeah which what. was at nine o'clock this piece of hair oh it's stuck behind my bag um so that was when we woke up about nine o'clock so it's yeah we're gonna be in near the 40s today but we're gonna enjoy it <laughs> oh i was gonna say look at stefania's lips so she's put on um the lip stain from wonder skin in colour Sweetheart. 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 And it looks really nice. Does it? Is yeah. that a weird? I've just done it on the outline because I need to have my lip I follow up on my lip blush just for bits that I want filled in, but I do it with the lip stain because it works really really well and looks natural. So we've got two beach babes today. <laughs> this is Grace and she is beautiful, aren't you darling? And she Oh, did you hear? Oh, you have a little squeaky meow. Yes. And she is literally where Tommy is from. And she literally looks half Tommy, doesn't she? Let's see you. Let's see you. Oh, she's so friendly. You must be Tommy's sister. She's so hot that she has gone underneath me. It is boiling. And she's sitting underneath me. <laughs> Look. So, I hope I'm not giving you a flash. You have to stay there now.
were just quickly capturing um, a thumbnail for YouTube and this has happened. <laughs> These are not even a year old. Havianas, we need to have a word. What is going on? So I'm gonna to have to go to... I need to be walking down the mountain. I need to walk down a mountain. And I know what you're gonna say. Why would you walk down in flip-flops? We have been doing this for nearly 30 years. We are pros, okay? So I'm gonna try and go and quickly fix this before my walk. Otherwise I'm gonna to have to buy a pair of shoes. Or just walk Or flip-flops. Oh God. We're just at our favourite shop in Avello, Passeggiando, where we do our shop, but we're not here shopping. We will be on Friday, but they make like flip-flops and things like that. So we've come in and she's just trying to fix my flip-flop just for today. Savannah's already shopping. Savannah got this, yeah, this is the bag you got last, last month. That's cute as well. You're meant to be saving this for Friday content. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Have a look. So, passeggiando to the rescue. Well, we, Stefania did actually buy a pair, which I'm now wearing. She got, she got the, uh, the like tanned, very tanned pair. Yeah, brown. which I needed. Okay. Um, but the lady has hammered and glued my flip flop, but she said to leave it for for like a while. So I've got them in the bag, and I'm just wearing. So, so she's done that for me. Lou, There's like a nail. Hammer. They're so nice in there. However, I did remember that this happened to me last year with the same flip-flop of the same colour and I kept the flip-flop the flip -flop that didn't break. So I'm hoping... What one broke? No, the left one broke. So the left one's broken, so I'm hoping that at home I have the right one. I kept it. But anyway, Stefania and Pastor Jandor to the rescue, thankfully. So now we're going to start walking. Let's hope I don't break any more flip-flops. <laughs> mint on our journey so we're picking some because we love to make uh, watermelon and cucumber and mint juice it's just the best juice and the watermelons here are incredible but let me just show you the views that we have whilst walking down it's just incredible Come on, Steph. <laughs> I'm coming. I don't want to break my flip flops. Fair. <laughs> Honestly, this is like one tiny section of the amount of steps. I'm literally sweating that pig. Like, it just keeps going. The hair is up. <laughs> the sweat is on. Oh. oh my goodness, but we are just getting to possibly the most beautiful view of this particular walk. Let me flip you around and show you. But look at this. This Beautiful. is what makes it so worth it. Yeah. I mean, look at that. So that is the back of Amalfi. So we'll come through the back and walk to the front of Amalfi and then we'll be there. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We're nearly there. You look like a pea. Yeah, do I? We've just got to Amalfi. We're walking through and it is packed. And we are just a mess, but it's totally okay. It's so hot, we've decided to get ice cream. And we've had no breakfast, no lunch, but it's one of those days. It had to be done. It's honestly so, so, so hot. Savannah so looked like I'd lost my mind. I was like, I think we should just have ice cream before anything. So cheers to breakfast today. 
is. <laughs> well, the big man wasn't there. Oh yeah, we were going to show you. There's this um, a man that sits on these steps in Amalfi, like around the back with his wife, and he sells the produce from his garden. And we get figs for breakfast normally, but we've come down too late with the whole flip flop situation. Uh, we've come, but we've got here too late. So I'll show you him in next week's vlog. But uh, I think this is a good alternative, don't you? <laughs> We are just passing Atrani. This is where I shot my recent campaign with the G's Bikinis and this little bit here, but it was in Atrani and it's such a wonderful little village. Arriving at our beach, Castiglione. So we're just getting to Castiglione and this beach you can only get to by steps. So we're just walking down our final few steps. If I say few, I would say there's between like 200 and 300 steps down, but it's completely worth it because it's not packed like the other beaches and it's just so lovely. It's just, I think it's just the nicest beach. Lunch time, and we bring our own lunch, of course. So Fanny can show you, because I haven't got my bag over. <laughs> we have uh, avocado salads with a bit of barley and tomatoes. Mm. Good morning, everybody. We are sitting and having breakfast. It's absolutely boiling. Mm. Like, all we've been doing is moaning for the past three days. You can't even see outside. Have you seen yeah, it? the, it's very, very, the word's not misty, it's just... Foggy? <laughs> no, it's, no it's like hazy. Yeah. Um, but we are going to the beach today because the only thing to do is lie in water. So that's what we're going to do. But I didn't want to end the vlog without showing you guys, or all of us finding out, which flip-flop I had. <laughs> so I'm about to get out my box and rummage through it for this flip-flop and then I'll end the vlog. But quickly before I do also, we're just having breakfast. And I wanted to show you what we're having because there is the best. We're having these. Oh, okay, so we're doing this backwards. So we have um, buckwheat, quinoa and am amaranth, like crackers. These are like available everywhere in Italy. They're quite, they're very easy to get. They do all different flavors. I mean, our, um, our packet is all smashed up, so they're tiny pieces, but they're crackers like this. Firstly, we've done the watermelon juice. We did have a watermelon juice, Cucumbra. and of course we had our lemon and water. Oh, and the mint we picked, which you'll see. And the mint, yeah, we, we used the mint in it as well. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, these can be quite plain. Mm. So anyway. There are, well, there is a chocolate spread in Italy that is amazing, vegan, bio. So good. So what we're doing is basically, instead of having like a croissant or a cornetto, I should say, because we're in Italy, we just pop a little bit of chocolate on here. Gives us our fix. <laughs> And that's it. And it's still semi-healthy. We don't do this every day. We just found these crackers. This is a treat. And um, we're using them, we're eating them. Anyway, this vlog's gone on long enough. Let's go to the other room and um, mm. find out about this flip-flop. Okay, I have my box of things, yeah, my Italian box. box of things that I leave here. And I've seen, I can see the flip-flop. Where's the old flip-flops? Don't look. You're trying to have a head start. So I need... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> so I need, my broken one is the left one. My right one's hanging in there. I didn't end up wearing the semi-fixed one because to finally kindly bought herself a new pair is that it still I wore together? yesterday. That's going to come off easy. So this is what I've got. And... 
No! I knew it was. I no. knew it. So now I have two of the one side. Why you just have two left feet? Oh no! Try it on, it might feel, be alright. Oh, that's such a shame. I didn't want to end the vlog this way. No! Bloody flip flop. Well, that's that then. I need to get myself some new flip-flops. Um, quick outfit check before I go. I have a Free People top on. It is the most comfortable. The most. Beach top. I'm not wearing a bra. <gasps> and it works fine. And this is a wrap skirt maxi from Reformation. I'll link it all below. But I'm going to end the vlog there. And I'm going to go get myself some new flip-flops.